Have you ever wondered why your favorite business went out of business and you couldn't understand it because they looked like they were always doing a ton of business? You know what usually causes that to happen? Terrible inventory management. See, inventory is the number one most important asset outside of your people. It's something that you've decided to invest in. Now let's take a hardware store, for example. As you walk through the hardware store, there's lots of different departments and there's shelves and you can see there's nuts and bolts and hammers and vacuums and paint and wallpaper and lawn mowing equipment and everything else in between. As you walk through, I want you to look at every single shelf and I want you to see cash on the shelf, not nuts and bolts. And I want you to understand how much that cash is moving and what you're getting in exchange for it. So for example, if you invested a dollar in that inventory and it sat there for six months, is it still worth a dollar? I don't think so. But if it doesn't sell in six months, it's probably a problem. Now the number one mistake that I see in going into businesses is the lack of acknowledgement of good inventory versus bad inventory. And the unwillingness to have your first loss be your best loss. What I mean by that is as inventory gets older, it doesn't appreciate in value. Managing inventory and ensuring that it's turning on a regular basis, because if it isn't, it becomes dead inventory. What does that prevent you from doing? Investing in new ideas, expanding your business, investing in new technology, giving yourself a paycheck, hiring new employees, creating a new marketing campaign. See, I bet you didn't think that those are all the things that you would be restricted from doing if your inventory didn't turn. So tomorrow morning, I want you to walk through your warehouse, through your store, or wherever your product may be, and ask yourself, is this inventory really as valuable as I think it is on paper? Be honest. I know that at least 20% of the inventory that you have in your business today shouldn't be there. I know you know it too. The question is, are you willing to take the first loss? Because I'm here to tell you, that first loss is your best loss.